Hi guys, I'm Liviu and um, today I want to show you a very cool 3D printer. For some time now I wanted to change my 3D printer which was a very old replica of the MakerBot replicator and uh, I just wanted to switch to something smaller and uh, easier to work with because of the space and because I don't want to be printing every day I wanted something small and uh, compact so this is why I want uh, to show you guys today the FLSUN Q5 3D printer which is a Delta printer. I am almost certain that uh, you all guys heard about delta printers and how weirdly they move it's something magical when you watch a delta printer print something because it's just so damn nice to to just look at it at work this FLSUN Q5 it's a very budget friendly printer on the Banggood site you can uh, find it right now at $210 and also you have uh, free shipping on it so that's a good plus what i liked about uh, this 3d printer is that it only took me around 10-15 minutes to fully assemble it and after 15 minutes i was already starting printing some test prints uh, with pla i know that uh, in this price range you could end up with an ender 3 printer but um, that requires a little bit more fiddling and uh, getting to know it and for someone who just wants to install the printer and just print with it I think this one it's uh, more fitted for this kind of uh, user and it has a lot of uh, interesting feature for this price range like 30-bit uh, uh, motherboard, touchscreen, lattice platform, titan extruder and so on. Uh, you will find all this information on the product page, I will uh, leave the links uh, into the description. Right out of the box the printer just prints incredible and pretty fast. I needed some days to figure out how to print with TPU but finally I did it with some uh, slicer settings. If you look at this GoPro mount this is printed in TPU and as you can see the print quality was on point. I had a lot of supports to be able to print this. If I'm not mistaken I printed it like so. Uh, this is uh, the PLA I needed to print some tests with it, so it's it's pretty okay. I mean, for this price range, it's amazing how easy and uh, fast you can uh, you can print with it. Definitely, it can print TPU, even though it's about an extruder. The fact that uh, it has a Titan extruder helps out a lot in uh, printing TPU. So, yep, I'm uh, pretty happy about it. And by the way, if you want a good TPU material, Sane Smart TPU, it's definitely the best and it's cheap. So, that's a good plus. Other things I like about this uh, printer is that uh, it has silent motor drivers and you cannot hear that buzzing robotic sounds when the printer works so that's uh, another good plus. Obviously it's uh, all metal and uh, pretty robust if you ask me. The only downside and um, I have to say this is a, a problem with all the printers in this price range, budget printers let's say it uh, like that, the fans on the actual uh, kit element is not of a great quality and it makes a lot of um, noise in the room so that was the first thing I needed to change the fan after I changed the fan the noise went down like 60% so yep I don't know why so many manufacturers use uh, low quality fans but I guess if you want printers at $200 uh, this is what we get so changing a fan it's not an issue. Overall I'm very very satisfied with this printer I would say it's the best budget printer you can buy right now. I could be wrong but um, yeah if you want a pretty cool printer and uh, easy to assemble and work with I, I would go with this. Obviously you have other options uh, like I said before and the tree and um, a lot of others but they take a lot of uh, horizontal space and you have to fiddle with them a lot to make them uh, really print perfectly so yeah. Thank you very much guys I will leave all the information in the um, description area and uh, till the next time bye!